Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing a shop with me and I am so excited because we are heading over to Home Goods and Target to pick up some pieces to finish off my house. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Blanca Yvette. If you guys are not new here, then welcome back. Most of you guys know I did get a new house and I'm super excited. The decorating process is literally my favorite. Somebody went on Instagram and said, I'm starting to believe that you just buy houses because you're excited to decorate them and start all over. But that is not true, although it does excite me. I love the vibe that we're going for for this house and it's super different than anything that I've done in like any of my previous homes So that's why I'm like just really pumped to bring you guys along. We're doing for we're going for more like a organic modern kind of vibe so I'm trying to get like just really cute pieces, like old wood pieces, like antique pieces, a lot of like little Spanish feel, a lot of texture, uh, just like different little vibes here and there. So I'm so I'm on my way to pick up my friend. We are going to just try to do some shopping, have a little bit of girl time. Well, Lisa's is back from Mexico, so I was like, I'm out. I was like, I've been here with the kids for two weeks, so I'm gonna go do some retail therapy, some shopping for the house, and have a little bit of me time. So I'm excited about that. So I will show you guys at the end of the video like a haul, so you guys can see if we do pick up any cute pieces, any of that good stuff. And if you guys enjoy these videos, definitely comment and let me know because I love shopping and I feel like I never really bring you guys along with the shopping. I just post on Instagram like, oh, I got this or I got that or I like, you know, so on and so forth. So if you guys want me to just do like longer videos of the hauls and like the shopping and all that stuff, then I would gladly do those for you because I love shop with me videos. So let's head over to Home Goods. Let's head over to Target and see guys, what we Guys, we're at Home Goods and I'm with Ashley. Hi. Okay, guys, let's see what we find. Some candles. By the way, it looks like everybody decided to come to Home Goods today. We we're all trying to decorate our houses. So I picked up some pillows that have like this color for my couch, and I'm trying to find a different texture with the same vibe. Maybe stripes, ideally. To just kind of finish off the living room. Oh, that would have been nice if it was not. Yeah. That's really cute. Because, so I really like this kind of vibe too. But one, there's only one. And two, well, there's actually two there. But I'm wondering if it's even going to like go or not. I feel like, oh, do you guys get the vibe that I'm going for, guys? And then the sucky thing is that sometimes you can find one, but you won't find like two. And I want to at least have like matching sides. Like even something like this would have been cute. Look. Like, yeah, it's just a different color, I feel. Yeah. I feel like that well, this one has like a gold. I feel like that would just blend. Look at the pillows we found. And then I love the home goods ones because the karate chop is so nice. It's feathers. I'm guessing it's feathers in here. But I think these will look so cute. <laughs> guys i was looking for a really nice lamp uh for the living room and ashley found this one so cute look at the texture like so this is something that i learned with the decor that we're doing for my living room a lot of you guys were asking what it's called it's called organic modern so basically you want to like add a lot of like textures you want to add a lot of different tones stay with like Stay with the color palette though. I'm gonna show you guys the color palette here that I'm using for my living room inspo, but I love her. She so is cute. so cute. Guys, this is my favorite aisle. Well, not even aisle, but section at Home Goods. It's all like the vases and like the cute little like, like look at this stuff. Like the texture, so cute. But this doesn't match my color palette. So the colors that I'm using are neutrals, orangey, like rustic browns. Um, a little bit of like a what's the color green uh, like a pistachio like a dark pistachio green and blacks so that's the vibe yeah I was eyeballing it over here oh, <laughs> this texture yeah even this look at the texture of this it's like this one is $12 I like the texture of that one some little flowers in here or even just itself like this with the cute in front of a different vase or something. All these are really nice. It's just the material. It's too shiny. So this is where you guys have to be careful when you guys are buying for your guys' homes too. 
polished. It's too polished, yeah. It's it's too polished. This is definitely giving more like modern vibes. You want to be able to, yeah, get those pieces with like the nice texture, like stuff like this. Guys, these pieces all together, like do you see how it's just giving all the vibes it's supposed to give? Ugh. I'm obsessed. I cannot wait to see what they look like in the house. I picked up this candle right before we left. Um, we exited, so. So cute. <laughs> okay, guys, so home goods. Um, home goods. Ah! Uh, our first stop at home goods was great. We got a couple of good stuff. I also shopped a couple of days ago for some other stuff that I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to do like a whole haul that. Uh, once i get home but our first stop was great we're gonna go to maybe two more stores and bring you guys along and then we're gonna eat so let's do that do you want to eat first ashley we're at tatsu guys a little ramen date do you guys see how delicious our ramen looks oh i love it i'm gonna capture the first bite some chilito imagine we would have gone to the other place and would have been craving it. Yeah, we'll go one day when we're not really craving it. <laughs> but we just want to stop and get some ramen. Just so like a quick one. Because like, what if it actually really is good? Because a lot of people, I see a lot of people post it. It's a chain. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah. It's a chain, so I see a lot of people posting it. There's another one. Have you gone to the Century City Mall? No. I think it's the same one. I don't know. Yeah. Minute. So they gave it to him oh in a week. My Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, we are at our last Target stop. I think so we went on a Target tour. Yeah, I'm super excited. Here is the last Target stop of the day. Let's see what we find. <laughs> we are officially. So, let me tell you guys, we went to another Target, and our Target here is the one that's actually stocked up. They have so much cute shit here. Like, I think this is the frame I got. Yes, it is. It's given. It's given what it's supposed to get. Even the lemon. Dude, I swear, I think my mom had one of those back in the day. I kid you not, in like our apartment or something. I swear, I feel like I've seen that before. <laughs> Los, yeah, la foto de limo, los limones. O son naranjas. No, de li. No, de son peras. No, they're not. No? They're tangerines. Oh, what is this one like a little pera? The shape of it. I think they're tangerines. They're cute. <laughs> this one's cute, but the, you know These are for kitchen, aren't they? Accent tables? $59? For that little thing? How much is this one? $109, not so much I paid for that one. I have this one at home. <laughs> these are cute though, but you think this is too small for the bath? You don't think, you don't think it would be good for the bathroom? I don't know, like what would you put on top? Like a candle? Yeah, or even some, some towels rolled up. No? Like some face towels? Mm -hmm. Next to the... Like the back. No, it's, not, it's not convincing me. It's cute, but I've seen them like on the kit. I love Target, guys. Let me show you guys these really cute frames. Perfect for like some cute pictures. Stocked. Oh, look at these frames. Look at the frames that were down here. Unless somebody moved them. But look, this is cute for the books. Yeah, for like a book book holder. Is that Wait, what you, call you buy each of them each or is this set? Why isn't it wrapped up? But yeah, because you know, I don't know if you've seen the ones that I have in my kitchen, but they're like marble. So like if I was to replace them for like some for these, these would be cute, right? But like, are they together or you buy them individually? They should be together. Because only one of them has a sticker. My ears are ringing. Somebody's talking shit. But then it's kind of beautiful. Oh look. Oh yeah, look. They must come as a set. Oh, yeah, yeah, set of two. Which one looks beat up? Why didn't we see that? I know, because... <laughs> <laughs> this one looks more than you. Yeah, I like that one. 
My ear is ringing. Who is talking shit about me? Me mordí la lengua para que se la muerdan ellos. So we're picking up these babies. <clears throat> they're way, heavy too. Yeah, they're heavy. That way, like you can kind of neutralize the, the the kitchen. Yeah. So so far we have that. <laughs> I just got home guys, so I have to take out all these bags. There's nobody here, a coyote. I should have called Elisa to come help me. Thank God. I have to pee. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how many bags I can take. So it is the next day and I got home super late yesterday. Um, I had to put the kids to bed and I just didn't have time to like record the actual haul part. But I'm gonna show you guys the stuff that I've picked up. I'm gonna show you guys stuff that I'm decorating and how it's getting decorated and what I'm getting like pieces for, what my living room is lightweight kind of looking like. And let's get started. I'm so excited. I picked up a bunch of cute stuff at Target and Home Goods. So let's see what we got. Okay, so from Home Goods, guys, we got two books. Ah! We got two books. I got this one. It says Shades of White. I love decorating the house with a bunch of books. Excuse um, the noise and stuff. My mom's in the back. But I have the Shades of White book. And then I got this book here, which apparently is a very popular book and very expensive. But I love how, like... It's definitely like organic modern style. I love the book. So I'm gonna stack these two up in the console table in my dining room. That way I can show you guys how I'm setting that whole area. And then I also got this little box that I know is gonna look really good somewhere in the house. It's definitely giving very organic modern with like the texture. So I love that. And then I got this candle here. This candle has like all the colors for the color palette that I'm using. And then I got this little bowl here. So this is all gonna look really nice on like a lot of different areas in the house. So that's what I got at Home Goods. And then I also got a lamp and some pillows. I'll show you guys when I'm decorating the living rooms and stuff, what I got from those. This is the stuff that I haven't taken out because as soon as I got home yesterday, even though like it was super late, um, I put the kids to sleep and then I like ran to like put stuff like randomly so you guys can to just get an idea so that way when I went to bed I could like visually see like stuff that's missing. I don't know. I just do random stuff like that. So um, a lot of the stuff is actually like already like getting placed and then at Target oh, I have a water in here at Target. I ended up getting the two little book holders the ones that are like this and you guys are gonna see which ones I'm gonna replace and I got these two candles which smell amazing like they're so freaking bomb these candles smell so good and they were $14.99 the candles at target are definitely a little bit pricier but they're so pretty and they smell really good so like i really don't mind splurging on candles so i got that and then let me show you guys the frame that i got for my console table okay so a lot of you guys are always asking where I got these from. I have them in my living, in my family room upstairs as well for the kids. And I actually got them at Target. So everything that I'm talking about, you guys talking about today with you guys, it's going to link, be linked down below. That way you guys can shop easy. So I got these at Target. They're individual, like they're just one piece each. I just combine them in my upstairs my living room. I have three of them. Down here, I have two of them. And then the storage is really nice. Like these here, I put them with like our uh, liquor i do have a winery like a little winery cabinet thing not cabinet but it's like installed in my house i'll show you guys right now um there's like a winery for wine so i didn't have a place to put our actual like liquor and i didn't want to do like a whole bar area because i don't drink lisa doesn't drink it's only when we have like guests and stuff that they will, will like make some type of drink so i just wanted to like, keep it like snucked in to where it still looked made the house look cute but we were still able to have like the liquor you know 
So these work perfect. I'm obsessed with them. I love them. But I did notice, I will be honest, that you have to be very careful and take care of them very well because my upstairs ones, because I think the kids kind of like mess with them more. These little things are starting to kind of like peel, not peel off, but they're trying, starting to kind of like pull up. I'll show you guys when I show you guys the upstairs bedroom. These look brand new because they're not touched. The other ones are starting to look a little bit worn. But let me show you guys how I'm going to decorate. Okay, so I pushed it back. I got all of this stuff that I have here. I got it at Target. The um, actually did I? I, I thought I was gonna, I got it at Home Goods, but I didn't. I got it at Target. So I got all of this stuff at Target. I got the vase at Target. I got these little like wreaths. They come individual at Target as well. So I love that they were super high and the color of them. Sometimes with these when they're fake, they can look really really fake. So I really like how these don't look super plasticky you know like they actually have a very nice like feel to them and color so i placed these here i got the candle holders and the candles at target i got this huge frame this like painting it's from a uh, studio mcgee i believe and i believe it's from studio mcgee if i'm not mistaken i'll link it below but i got this whole little um wall painting and it's huge i was wondering if i wanted to do like a mirror but i love that i ended up doing this one and then i got the candle from target as well as well as the lamp so i'm gonna put these two books stacked on each other like right in the center just kind of like fill in the space and finish it and then this little bowl i got at target as well this one was seven dollars and I'm just gonna place it here. So it's honestly just about like adding different textures and sticking with like the tones that I'm sticking with. So it's more neutrals, some types of like greens, um, brownie and orangey tones to just kind of like fill the vibe. But I love it. I feel like it looks so good. Let me show you guys from far. So this is what this little area looks like. I'm absolutely obsessed. I have a bunch of other stuff here that I had from my old house that I'm still trying to figure out where I can put, like where I can place them. But I have like this little corner of like stuff of decor that I'm trying to like find a place for. So excuse that. And then I'm also going to be getting my blinds put up as well as some drapery. It's gonna be like stationary drapery. You guys will see when it gets installed, but it's going to just kind of like overlap on the side to really close off this whole space not darken it though because i love that the house has so many windows we're still keeping them very bright and open but we want to be able to just dress them a little because it does look a little naked especially because our ceilings are a little higher so i want to just kind of like tone down the place a little and make it look homey but i'm loving the organic modern design like i love it it feels amazing let me show you guys the living room area so you guys can see the stuff that i'm doing there so this is the one that I'm replacing. It's like a marble. So I'm going to be replacing it with these to just like really tone in with the stuff in the kitchen because we do have a lot of wood in here. Okay. So we're going to change these up. Got these book on Amazon. I mean on, I got these two at Target and then I got this one sent to me. An APR package. So I love how that looks. So much cuter. Love this. I'm gonna put these away so this is what my living room is looking like right now I just got my couches cleaned so I'm gonna set them up with you guys right now and this is the stuff that I also got so I got this vase here at home goods as well as the leaves someone told me that they look sad but that's actually the look of what I was trying to accomplish so the leaves are supposed to look like they're kind of just falling down they're not supposed to be up and high and like alive and fun they're supposed to just kind of look a little droopy and down so um yeah I got those at home goods target those are old books and then I got this book at home goods as well and I love this book guys like look how freaking gorgeous this book is um there's a page that i love putting it on because it's just like ugh, like look at this one it says relax and it has just really cute pages that i like to display oh this one right here you guys see how beautiful this looks ugh. if you guys are also wondering if i got this frame i did and i cannot wait for you guys to see where i'm gonna put it it's gonna look so cute it's actually not in my living room or in my bedroom or in my master i mean or in the master or in the kitchen you guys are gonna see it's so cute and then the other lamp that i got from home goods is right here i 
placed it in this little section here that i have going on we are going to get our surround sound installed so i'm waiting to get rid of these little things to put them in the back and then we're also doing like stationary draping here on the side so you're going to see like the side stationary draping basically is draping that you actually can't close it's just for looks like it's just to look like you have curtains and like really decorate the space so like i said the ceilings are a lot higher so we're going to be doing some stationary draping here and then doing some like uh woven blinds that are always going to be open because look at this view guys like i'm obsessed with me just walking by and seeing a mountain <laughs> like what it's so cute so i got these on amazon i'll also link those below got those on amazon and i'm gonna um link those for you guys so if you guys want to pick them up but they fit perfect on the space these are the pillows that we got yesterday at home goods as well i'm gonna put the living room together so you guys can see how it's going to all look <laughs> Okay, so I finalized my living room. I put my little tree up and then I put the little nightstand on the side and just added some little final touches. But these are like the changes that are gonna happen to this living room, which I will bring you along. We're gonna add the drapery that we had in my old house here on these windows we just haven't scheduled for them to come and actually install them so that's going to be like just changing this is going to make the house feel so homey as soon as we add those like curtains and stuff and like i said you're still going to be able to enjoy the nice view from the outside and then i think i just need to add little final touches here i added the little box there but i feel like i need to put like a book under it with the little box add some pictures on that picture those picture frames i still haven't added any of those on there i added the candle and the little like decor thing here but it's still missing this is missing a little holder um for the bottom which i would do like some type of wood or something i wouldn't actually turn the candle on but just like for looks and stuff and then this for sure needs like some type of book or something like that and then i need to finish finish like decorating these bottom like shelves and stuff like that so i still don't know what i'm trying to do look at this cute little picture that i found on amazon as well it's so stinking cute this would look super cute like on your kitchen um in your living room but the quality is really really good and it's such a cute little frame i'm obsessed i still don't know if this is how i'm gonna keep it by the way i'm just kind of like adding little stuff in there for sure that's stain everything else i'm still trying to like move around and tweak around until i can figure out that's random stuff that i just have under there um same thing here so i'm just waiting for this stuff to get installed once that's out of the way i will finish this whole living room and i also ordered these two little ottomans they're like a leather like a brownish leather it's gonna complete this whole area it's gonna be right in front of the fireplace so let me know what you guys think let me know if you guys are loving the decoration vibes that i have going on for my living room i'm obsessed these pillows were definitely the perfect touch to the living room i 
love how everything turned out so the next video that's going to be going up on my channel is going to be our house tour which i am very 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 excited for you guys to see the house is definitely not finished we're about like 80 percent like settled in we're still making some changes to the whole house obviously as you guys can see it's like little things here and there but if i wait until all of that is done i'm never going to give you a house tour so i'm going to give you guys the house tour the way that the house is actually right now and you guys are going to see just those changes moving forward i'm going to take you guys along doing max's room i'm going to take you guys along finishing uh, Mateo's nursery and just really finalizing the touches to finish the home but I'm obsessed the house feels super cozy and welcome like if I could have you guys over so you guys can see how the house feels you guys would know why I fell in love with this house in the first place but it's super super cozy it feels homey the children love it and I love the space and I hope you guys liked this video if you guys did like this type of video let me know so I can start doing a little bit more like shop with me stay in my life stuff like that it was definitely a little bit more vlog style which I normally don't post like on this channel but when it comes to like home decor and all that stuff i would love to separate that and have it just be like strictly that and not like my day-to-day -day life like i do on my vlog channel but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you guys all so much for watching and i will see you guys on my next one love you guys